3D printer too because that looks uh that looks pretty tall. Sometimes 3D printers have a surprisingly big volume if you actually stretch it out, but yeah, I uh I like that design a lot. It looks great. Oh, it's three pieces. Okay, well that makes more sense then. Oh, and a little brush holder. There we go. All the functional prints. Yeah, I I need to get much better at this. I've got I've got 3D printers that I do not utilize very frequently and and I need to I need to find more little like jigs and and holders and stuff that I can use. There's no excuse not to have things like that. So, dude, thanks for sharing, Krieg. That that looks really, really nice. So, very good. Very good. Boyd got partner on the brain. Yeah, apparently. Apparently, Mouse. Um, <laughs> Mitchell is here. What's going on, Mitchell? Welcome in. Good to see you today. Happy Friday. Uh, I had a quick question. Currently, I make flower pots by pouring cement into silicone molds. Wanting to make some new larger molds, but don't know any type the type of silicone to use for casting things like bowls and cups. Any advice? Uh, vanilla. I don't know if Sasaki Woodworks is here. Um, but uh, I we do some resin casting vanilla. So you come take a look at my drawers over here. Let me let me show you all the things I've got hidden in my drawers. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, Charm Kitty Cat. Uh, you're you're right, and it's it's something that I'm just trying to get a little more used to, and in, in making that hopefully a more a more serious goal. So. Let's let's look in my drawers here. Yo, what's up, Tin Tin? Is that for taking a dump during in during a water outage? <laughs> probably, probably Tin Tin. Uh, I'm honestly scared. Maybe in fall, give me enough time to get some stuff together. Now I can see a theme pub having that <laughs> hat stand as a novel. <laughs> uh, being a fashion at the moment. Thank you for the drawers command. Um, so so I do some resin casting. I've done some concrete casting, but um, I, not too much of it. But I've used a few different types of silicone. Oh, that thing is kind of gross. I'm sorry. Uh, this is this is from Alumalite. Um It is meant for for casting big resin. You guys like that? Um, but that is a uh, alumalite. What is it called? Quick quick mold. Quick mold. Something like that. But it it, it cures really quickly. Um, the other thing that I've got that I make some, some of these, uh, faux burl pieces from is this pink, wait, I just found it yesterday. Oh, there it is. Is this pink material? Oh, here is actually the stuff from Illumilite. It's Illumilite mold rubber. Um, I know it is good for resin, right? You can see them pouring some resin on the side. I um, mean, this stuff sets up super quickly, so it's nice to be able to pour and and get a uh, get a mold. Yeah, eight to twelve hours, which is pretty good for for silicone. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is also some other silicone, and this is a little bit this is a little bit more durable. But I'm not sure exactly what Sasaki uses uh, for this pink stuff. So, yeah, we use that for our faux burl 